in Toronto. And I love Indian food. Let's cross the street first and I get a little taste of India. Let's go check it out. All right, I'm at Nathan Phillips Square with City Hall, old City Hall. Beautiful. This becomes ice rink in the winter. It's so much fun. And there is a ton of crowd here right now. It's potato, peanut, pomegranate. Oh, like a burger. Kind of a burger. Okay, okay. Maggie is an Indian style noodle, most popular snack back in India. And then we also have cold cocoa. So cold cocoa for this weather is a cold chocolate drink. Yesterday we sold 65 liters of it. Well, I'll try this. It's Indian sweet, it's called ghari. It's made from different types of nuts and almond, pistachio, and saffron. That's interesting. Alright, give it so. Yeah, sorry, I did not want that. That's more like it. I'm so excited for this mango lassi. Oh, this is so good. The samosa is good, the curry is good, the chips are good, and the cilantro is amazing. It is good. <laughs> yeah. Where is it from? Uh, it's, um, samosa, yeah. samosa chat. Yeah. It's like around there. Oh, I love cilantro. We not. Okay, let me just. Anybody from the Delhi people? Yeah. Okay. Okay. some breath work right now because I saw this guy dump his head in this water and it looked so refreshing and liberating I just had to try it myself so here we go it was actually hard to balance myself on this rock more than anything I'm pretty good at holding my breath my longest record is actually about two minutes and 40 seconds but for some reason time seems to go a lot slower with my head underwater but it was indeed refreshing and liberating. It's actually one of my favorite experiences of this summer. I mean, I know I look a little ridiculous right now, but I honestly couldn't care less for this experience and it was so worth it for this feeling.
moments like this in nature that really makes me feel grateful to be alive. Google Sudo, you're in your donut. 